Micah Kim, I just got your piece over the emails and I'm taking a look at it. And I remember that we sort of ran out of time on our lesson talking about ways to expand it and make it a bit longer. I really like what you have. I think it's a great start, but even though it's three lines, I think it's gonna go by pretty quickly. So I think, I think we can expand a little bit more. I want to give you a video to practice with as you prepare for the concert. So I'm going to play through what you have, uh, and I want you to try to play along right with me, just like as if you were in person, okay? So I'm going to start with that, and then I'm going to talk about a couple different ways that you might explore making this piece longer. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, and one, two, uh, 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 uh. I think at some point you're going to want to add a repeat sign because the beginning is really catchy and even though you repeat it in measure six and seven with the two repeated notes sort of idea motif I think you're going to want some more of it just to make it longer so be thinking about a place where you can plop a little repeat sign that's one way that you can make it longer. another way is to think about the entire piece as uh, two big sections. And I think what you have here is uh, definitely one full section, but I think you might have a little bit of a, a change into the next section too. So you can uh, take like measure eight and measure nine, that music starts to kind of go to a different place. Um, I think you can put a repeat sign that repeats the first part of the piece, and then on the next, uh, after you come back and play it a second time, you have a whole section that, that is uh, a little bit longer. So you might find uh, you know, a good place with, within measure seven, eight, nine, somewhere to put a repeat sign and then extend after that. Or you could treat the measure that is right now the last measure as the place where you put the repeat sign and just have that be your whole first section. Play that, and then after that long open G at the end, you go on to something else. I would suggest that you spend a lot of time playing your instrument, thinking about these ideas, thinking about what might sound good uh, in contrast to the music you've already written. Remember, we talked about seeing a lot of quarter notes and there's still a lot of quarter notes. It's better now because now you have some long notes in there, but it's still an awful lot of quarter notes. I think if you found another pattern, another kind of rhythm, uh, maybe something like eighth, eighth quarter, eighth, eighth quarter, something. You have, you have to choose, it has to be your idea. Uh, but something that's gonna sound totally different from the first part of the piece, okay? So if you end up going with my second suggestion of putting a repeat sign at the last measure that you have right now, and then writing stuff after it, I would think about different ways that you can use rhythm, okay? All right, so if I were to play through that and then get to the end, what ways might I be able to use rhythm? Let me just experiment a little bit and see if anything comes to me. So, I'm going to play the last line. Thank you. 
then when you finally return back to, to what I did is I, I came back and I played the beginning of your piece again, it really makes it feel like you've come home. You've, you've gone from your home to somewhere and then you finally come back to it. Uh, so let me talk a little bit about what I did. I just improvised, but I took a general idea that you used. If you look at the last two measures of your piece, that uh, jump that you have from the E to the G, rather than going up, I just went down. So I played, I think I played, A, A, D. I just jumped the other way from a high note to a low note. I also changed the rhythm like I talked about earlier in the video. I did eighth, eighth quarter, eighth, eighth quarter, okay? Now, that's my idea. You can't steal my idea. And this is your piece, and I can't write your piece. So you have to come up with your own idea. But that's how you do it. You got to find a way to use different rhythms and have ideas that you already had earlier in the piece. Um, you, you have to make something that's different from them. And then when you return back to the beginning, uh, if you choose to do so, it will be very satisfying, okay? I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, I tried to put the performance going straight through your piece around the one minute mark. So go back and find where that is and play with it three, four, five times and get really comfortable with not only how it sounds, how your music sounds that you've written, but how it feels to play it too, okay? And that'll surely give you some more ideas about where it can go. Okay, see you soon.